and the alien, and the public. What a lovely day. I wonder what Rob Robot is doing at the moment. I go and find him to see if he wants to go to the fun room with me. Are you looking for Rob Robot by any chance, Andy Alien? I am Karen Basile. Have you seen Rob by any chance? I am planning to ask him if he would like to go to the fun room with me and have some imaginative fun like Beth Bumble Hug, Daniel Mary Pop and Graham Gareth had before. That might be a problem, Andy Alien. You see, Rob Robot is helping Paul Perkinson out with some cleaning at the moment in his office as we got a new colleague coming to have an interview with Paul himself today. I'm afraid Rob will be too busy to hang out with you, Andy Alien, at the moment. Oh, okay then. How about, you would like to come to the fun room with me, Karen? That way we can get to know each other properly for a change. Or, I would like to spend time with you, Andy Alien. But unfortunately, I'm too busy as well as I got an advert of my own to show in the advert review room today with Danny L. Mary Bob. I'm sorry, Andy, but I have to go now. I might hang out with you some other time. See you later. Okay, Karen. See you later, too. Well, that is disappointing. Who else can I hang out with if Rob Robot isn't he available? I got a free day for myself as I already done a lot of hard work for Paul yesterday. Let me have a thing. What about Alan Burgerton? I see if he is free. Oh, hi, Randy Alien. What can I do for you? Hi, Alan. I was wondering if you would like to hang out with me today as my best friend Rob Robot is too busy helping out with Paul Perkinson today. I asked Karen Bessel but she is too busy doing an advert review with Daniel Maripop. Are you free? Well I'm sorry to tell you this Andy, but I'm too busy trying to repair Kate's helicopter as there is something loose in the engine and Kate herself asked me and Hugh Jockson to come and have a look at her helicopter and trying to fix it for her. Sorry mate. Maybe another day. Okay Alan. Good luck repairing Kate's helicopter on the top floor. Oh dear, nearly everyone is busy today, who could I hang out with now? Hmm, what about Alessandro? I could ask him. I try. Hello, oh, it's you and the alien. What do you want? Hi Alessandro Pipa I was wondering if you would like to hang out with me in the fun room as my best friend Rob Robot is too busy helping Paul out today. I asked Karen and Alan but they are too busy as well. Hanging out with you, and the alien. Aka 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 Oh don't make me laugh. You wouldn't hang out with an alien from outer space if you were the last living being in the world. Go away you pathetic loser and hang around on your own. Aka 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 Well, first of all that was mean and rude of him. And secondly, hanging around on my own. Well, I guess I will then. I go out in the public and just hang around on my own. Fine by me. Big sigh. This is boring when I am on my own. There is nobody to spend time with today. There is no point going in the fun room on your own if you are by yourself. And even my best friend is too busy until bedtime. Well, I suppose I could look in a few shops since I got nothing else important or better to do. I am sure Paul Perkinson doesn't he mind if I am out for a while. Only though, he doesn't he know I've gone out because he is too busy with Rob Robot. And he did say to him and me on our first day at the apartment to not to go anywhere without telling him first. But how can I tell him if he is too busy? Oh I suppose a one time off wouldn't he do any damage. I just need to enjoy myself more often by myself. I am learning today of me time. Me time is just a time and day just for myself and nobody else. Yeah, that hell will be fun. The entertainer, I wonder what is in this store. Wow, oh my, interesting, pretty cool. This shop is pretty, colorful and interesting. I might get some of these just for me. I got an idea. <sighs> have my shower. Have my shave. Have a shave, shower. My laundry's getting sorted. 
Uh, well, yeah. It's just going to be another week for me, it will be. <sighs> it's a nice day outside. It's a bit warmer, it is. Oh, I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, how have you been? I've been tickety boo a okay, okay thanks. What have I got to tell you from myself? Um, well, I bought this Izzy Hawthorne action figure. I bought it for myself from Smith's not too long ago. Uh, what else I've got to tell you from me? Hmm. I saw this interesting Coco Bandicoot figure that. I've been thinking about getting for a bit. I can't remember who was it made by, but it's not made by Jack Specific. Jack Specific is the company that's been made the Sonic figures that I've shown you in the past before. Um, not very much really. Got a pint of Seven Up, and I'm possibly going to watch the community news now. Alright, see what Swatty Swoony, that's the new community news presenter's got to tell me. Let's find out. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Swati Swoonti and this is your news for today. An alien has been stealing toys from the entertainer earlier today and staff members has been chasing this strange creature or guy or living being. Its name is unconfirmed and nobody recognizes its identity. If any of you has seen this being, you must report to the police immediately so the toys can go back to where they belong to and get bought by the right people for good boys and girls for right deeds. On other news today, Argentina won the FIFA Qatar World Cup of 2022 by four penalty scores to France by two penalty scores. Congratulations to Argentina who won the Qatar competition. England lost to France of scores 1-2 in the quarter-finals on 10 December 2022. The next World Cup will be located in the western country somewhere. Accurate location is unconfirmed for now but we'll let you know on the community news where the next World Cup will be located at. And the final news, there is still no sign of Jonathan Jack or Prashant Kanshan since October of 2021. A strange person thought seemed to be seen somewhere around at Abbey Park. The only witnesses at the moment are, Louis Teagle, Daniel Dickinson, Chia Hao Chiknug, Andy Alien, and Rob Robot. These five guys knows about this strange voice that occurred some time ago near towards Christmas time of last year. Further information on this story is empty for now. This is Swati Swoonti, at your service. Oh dear me, Andy Alien's in trouble. Can't believe Andy Alien from um, Paul's advertisement apartment has got into trouble with the cops. You've probably seen Andy Alien before where he's... Oh! Yes, I have met Andy Ali, and I just remembered now, on Lewis Vlog 55, Andy and Rob came to see me once, and I told them to leave me alone, or as I would have called the, the, the law and the officers. I have remembered that Daniel Dickinson told me that Andy Ali got into serious, serious trouble. Well, no. What, am I, what on earth am I saying? Do you know? I'm terribly sorry, people. I should have gone to Spetsavers when I had the chance. I'll get all my words mixed up. Oh well, never mind. Let me start again. Oh, come on, get on with it. We want to see Eddie Eddie in more than you. Oh, for God's sake. No, not him. Where are you running to? And this is probably you. No, uh... Sit down. And stop threatening me! Now! Aha, you got towed off. I'm only joking, come on. We can all have a laugh now and again, can't we? No? Charming. That's 
two minutes of my life, I'll never get back. Here we go again. The audience being so stubborn on my show. I don't know why I put bother it. I don't know why I bother make the effort when no one appreciates it. People don't appreciate the little things anymore. That's the problem with society these days. <sighs> what is it with you lot? I really try my hardest to bring entertainment and bring something to look forward to for you all. And you still don't appreciate anything I do for you? Oh, me then, Lee. I don't know. You're probably saying, why me? Why I said me then, Lee, from turning red? That's because... <gasps> well, you're not going to find that until the next episode. Tell us now. If you don't tell us... We'll never watch your show ever again. Mate, this is the last time I'm watching your show because I can't bloody stand it anymore. Every single time we see you on TV, it just gives me negative flashbacks, it does. Anything I do for you gives you negative flashbacks. I was going to tell you about my doorbell camera, but since you're not interested... I'll just save it for another day. No, no, it's fine. What are you laughing at? What are you smiling at? Hmm? Oi! Yeah, you! Uh -huh, you got towed off again. What's that angry pig face for? Oh, here we go. The doom and gloom and grey and rain characteristics. You're always doom and gloom and grey and rain. Hmm. Maybe it's a new mystery for me to solve. My doom and gloom and grey and rain audience. Hmm. Which a new one to me it is. Has my audience been the real doom and gloom and grey and rains all along and not Storm Rock Boy 13? Hmm. I don't know to be honest. Hmm. And I'm just trying too hard to create entertainment for you all. Have I just not been filming out in public enough for you? Hmm. Maybe it's all of them that I've mentioned. Stop tapping that. That's nerdy. That is irritating. Really? Even doing that annoys you? Well, I'm See what I mean? Anything I do for you is annoying to you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, shut up for once. I had enough. Give me an air, air, ain't you do? <laughs> Will you smile up now? Maybe the audience has been no true mystery to me all of this time. <sighs> Let's have a chat. Come on. Right. What is going on with you? Nobody directly, just you. Why have you been so critical about Lewis Vlogs? Hmm? I don't know. Maybe the audience has been my biggest mystery of all time. Have you been on Rotten Reality to side all this time? And that's the reason why that... I never seem to succeed in anything. It is what a reality, isn't it? You're on his side. I can't believe you all. After everything I've done for you, from filming, editing, the effort, whatever else I've done for you, you all decided just to cheat on me, or reject me, or regret me. Or deject me. Can you stop saying me? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oi! Come on! Sit down and tell the truth. It's the only way you can get Santa's good you can be on Santa's good list this December coming. No, oh, not Christmas. I don't believe in Santa. Santa is fake! Ew, but oh, Santa Claus pathetic grow up! I'm funny, aren't I? No. Well, whatever you say, I'm not interested. 
But honestly, I just can't believe you all that you've been on Rotten Reality's side all of this time. I feel disheartened because of you. I may be acting, but this, you know, this is what people want to see on repeats in about five years' time. Or it will become lost media. If you want to keep these episodes to yourself, because it's very unlikely you'll get a home media release due to streaming services these days, get this episode recorded if it's on Freeview, Virgin Media, Sky, Believe in Better, and what are you giving me that look for? Come on. Don't go. Really? <laughs> what is this strange creature? I'll get David Attenborough to documentary on it. This strange human being that should be put in Tricos Zoo, or Painting Zoo, or in Monkey Life. Like Curious George should have been back on Lewis Vlog. 38, 39? Something like that? Can you stop talking like this, please? I'm just gonna get. A lamppost pole, and I'll hit you with it like whack a mole. No, come on, that's naughty. Ha ha, you got turned off again. Ha 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 ha. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. But if you want to get these episodes recorded, if it's on TV, you better get recorded now because this is the only time this episode is airing and this will not be on repeats whatsoever. Yeah, this is probably you. <gasps> get this recorded! Quickly! Yeah, this is the only time this episode will be on air. It won't even be on repeats other than any other day. It won't be on DVD if you upload it on the internet. You'll get a copyright strike. You can't even upload it on the internet archive. So if you want to have the best episode ever, get it recorded now, before it's gone forever and all of the boring episodes will be on repeat, just like with the Tweenies episodes between 2013 to 2016. Yay! Same things over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, come on. I know you give me a secretive look, even though I can't see you. Come on. I'm too clever with showbiz to not ignore that fact. Well, since I'm going to try and find out all of these strange mysteries of Rotten Reality, you possibly, finding out why Rotten Reality is trying to ruin everything like it normally does, I'll see you a lot next time. Go and see what Andy Alien's up to, and I'll deal with this case of Rotten Reality because it's not you all this time. It's rotten reality itself with this creepy voice and the magic windmill and whatever else I've been through. He's ruining everything. But for the meantime, bye bye everybody. Bye bye. And see you next time. Right. Rotten reality. Show yourself. Oh, Tom Riddle. And the alien. I would like to have a word with you in my office. Right. Now. Oh, very Tom Riddle. Aka ka 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 You're in trouble and the alien. Aka ka 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 Oi, Alessandro Pipichiahau. Leave Andy alone. It's not nice to laugh at others when they're in trouble. Now. Andy Alien. Firstly, you've left the apartment without giving me any notice or told anyone here that you were going out into the public. You and Rob Robot know that neither of you are allowed because your identity is supposed to be kept secret from everyone else apart from us here. Secondly, you've went into the entertainer and stolen toys without paying. And you even told me you don't know what money is? This is a serious responsibility you committed to yourself and it is completely, and I do mean, completely, unacceptable to steal anything from the community. Do you understand, Andy? Yes, I do completely understand, Paul Perkinson, but that was because nobody wanted to play with me in the fun room and Alessandro laughed at me and told me to hang around on my own. 
My best friend was too busy with you and you Paul yourself were too busy and I didn't he want to distract either of you. Life is unfair with me. Nobody apart from you and Rob Robot likes me here. I understand you were trying to consider my concentration and importance for this lovely girl right here. But even when I'm so busy Andy, you should always tell me if you are going outside anywhere at any time as I'll either say yes or no. But you need to remember in future Andy, not only to always tell me where are you going to, but one thing in life you should always consider, and that is, you never, ever, ever, steal anything from any shop, ever again. Do you read me? Yes, Paul Perkinson. I'll always remember to tell you where I am going to, and never ever ever steal anything ever again. I read you loud and out. I'll deal with the situation you caused, Andy. I'm sure you didn't mean to do it on purpose. But this is a real life serious responsibility you would not ever want to land in ever again. You can go now. Okay, Paul Perkinson, going now. Hey. Wait up a minute. I want to talk to you. Andy Alien. Don't leave me. Oh no. Andy Alien? Where are you going? Are you okay? Poor Andy. It looks like he had a very bad day. I wonder why though? I don't know Henrietta Biggle. Phew. Those stairs are a bit steep in all fairness. Oh. Hello you too. Beth Bumblehug. Uh huh. My new colleague. You're finally ready to work with me. What is your name, my lovely? Well, I would like to introduce myself, but I have something more important to do at the moment. Have either of you seen Andy Alien by any chance? I believe he has gone up to his bedroom. What happened with him? He doesn't look very happy when we saw him passing by. I'll explain later. I need to see Andy Alien immediately. He got into trouble with Paul Perkinson.